Good morning, Rotary family. Good morning. We can do that one more time. Good morning, Rotary family. Good morning. Perfect. Thank you. So, we're here to talk about public image. What is Rotary? What do people outside of Rotary think about us? Now, I was born in Sri Lanka, and in the part of the world, actually, I was born in Sri Lanka and adopted to Denmark, and in the part of the world where I grew up, I'm definitely not the image of what someone expects to see when they hear Rotary. And I'm sorry for the, uh, the image, Jennifer. <laughs> My hair is not gray. I'm not 73 years old, nor am I white. So it was very different growing up in Denmark. Why is this public perception important? Why does it matter what people outside of Rotary think or believe about us? And what does it matter what people within Rotary think or believe about us? Because public image isn't just what we think about ourselves. It's how and what others think about us. And having a strong public image and a brand that is recognized, understood, and valued is critical to keeping Rotary strong long into the future. Making sure that the experiences we offer and the stories that we tell deliver on our brand promise is equally important. It's how we bring people into our organization as supporters, as partners, and even as members. And more importantly, it's how we keep them. So Rotary does regular market research. And that global data tells us that the majority of our general public, up to 40% of our neighbors, Potential members, supporters, and others don't know who we are, and they don't know what difference we make in people's lives and communities. And even those who have heard about us hold many misperceptions about who we are and what we do. So how do we enhance Rotary's public image to expand our reach? As district governors, you can encourage clubs to focus on building awareness and understanding of Rotary in their communities, and even in places where Rotary is already well known. Our members are the most effective brand ambassadors and the most valuable resource that we can leverage to share who we are and what Rotary represents and not to mention the power of our beautiful organization. You can encourage Rotary, Rotaract, and Interact clubs to amplify the stories that showcase how leaders from all continents, cultures, and occupations exchange ideas and take action for communities around the world. So help members recognize the importance of stories about how Rotary provides opportunities, make powerful and social and professional connections. And stories about how, we, how these connections lead to projects that change lives and offer solution to critical issues is important too. These are stories that show how we are people of action and that through Rotary, we can change communities, the world, and even ourselves for the better. Now, when I was 16 years old, I experienced a life-changing year as a youth exchange student to Colorado. Growing up, <laughs> thank you. Don't we love the youth exchange program? Yeah. Growing up, I was actually a shy kid. I was adopted, and I was different from everyone around me. I was not loud, I was pop, wasn't particularly popular, um, and I wasn't 
wasn't a troublemaking student either. Um, I was well liked by everyone. And I had a few good friends, but I did keep to myself, both physically and psychologically speaking. So when I was 16, a group of adults saw the potential in me, and they gave me an opportunity. They believed that I should be a Rotary Youth Exchange student, and I thank Rotary for that. Flying across the world, spending a year with new people in a different culture, was just the push I needed to come out of my shell. I learned to connect with others. And over the year, I also learned that I could adapt to any situation and fit into any social relationship. And I consider that my number one skill today. Thank you. From my exchange here, I also learned that I love organizations, and this further led me to develop my leadership skills. So when I returned back, <clears throat> excuse me, so when I returned back to Denmark to go to high school, I became a student council president, and during the years at the Danish School of Media and Journalism, I helped start not one but two student organizations where I served as a board member. Today, I run two businesses, and actually, I founded a third one this past Monday while here in Orlando, straight from my hotel room. <laughs> and I continue to give back to Rotary. But why? Because Rotary members saw the potential in me, and they supported my personal development journey. Rotary enhanced my social leadership and organizational skills. I was always a helper, but I learned to become a solver. I believe that on the way there, I also learned to become a decent person. I am so proud to be part of Rotary, or what I call the family. So this is my personal Rotary story. Now, I challenge all of you to share your Rotary story on your favorite platform today. Why you are proud to be a member of Rotary. Are you up for that? I can't hear you. Are you going to do that? Great. I take you up on that. Rotary cannot only be seen as a service organization or just as a member organization. Service projects could not happen without our members. We are the place where leaders can connect to take action, to create change. Our foundation would not be able to provide the impact it does without the contributions of our generous members. But in Rotary, we tend to think in silos. I bet you all have experienced that. We need to put it all into one pot and work together. Think about membership, public image, service projects, and foundation in every initiative that we have. Last year in September, the four Rotaract clubs in District 1470 in Denmark, hosted an event called Run with Rotaract. The goal was to raise money for Cura, a nonprofit organization that finances higher education for students at local universities in Malawi, and they develop their professional skills. With the money we raised from the run, Cura could finance a full bachelor's degree for one student. But we're talking about public image. The ticket for the event was a pink balloon with a Rotaract logo. Golden balloons were also sold to businesses and to uh, clubs that wanted to make larger donations. And every participant carried their balloon on the route around the park. 
This turned some heads from other park guests, and they started asking about these runners with the pink balloons. It was a great conversation starter. And at the finish line, the runners would tie their pink balloons to a large rotary wheel to show to the rest of the community. The members and non-members ended up talking, having fun, and social relations between clubs and the community was growing. And from the beginning, it was made clear in the communication that everyone was able to join in. Like we need to adapt our clubs to the new club types. The same is important when we create events. Make sure to be inclusive and not unintentionally exclude people in everything that we do. It was encouraged to bring family, friends, kids, and anyone who wanted to join as a runner, as a walker, or a spectator along the route. About half of the participants were non-members. To me, this is an example of people of action. And it's an example of people having fun. Those stories are the stories we need to tell to our members and to the rest of the world. Now, you are the ones to make the change. You district governor elects. You need to encourage clubs to make building our brand and public image a priority. You can help model how we tell stories and creatively find opportunities to engage the public and or our own members in ways that reinforce our brand promise. And focusing on our public image is also a way that you can support Rotary's action plan. It helps us build awareness and understanding about Rotary. And so we can expand our reach. It helps us define and communicate exactly how we create change so that we can share stories about impact. When we highlight the unique contributions of our members, opportunities we offer, the opportunities we offer through Rotary, we build engagement. And for the last one, speaking of ability to adapt, I want to encourage you to uphold our commitment to diversity, equity, and inclusion in your team. So prioritize innovative and creative thinking and skills over seniority. Take a chance. Don't be afraid to call outside the lines. Now, dear President Jennifer Jones, you changed Rotary history in so many ways. And last year, <laughs> give her a round of applause. Last year, I was deeply honored to be the first Rotary actor ever appointed as a Rotary Public Image Coordinator. But to quote Jennifer, being a first in Rotary doesn't really mean anything until there's a second and a third. And I'm thankful for President-elect Gordon for providing the opportunity for me to tell you how I and others are capitalizing on this opportunity. And I sincerely hope that there is a promise that there will be a second, a third, and lots more to come. Thank you for elevating Rotaract. Let's evolve Rotary together and change the public image for the better. Now, before I leave this stage, I want to express how touched I was to learn about President Gordon's theme, create hope in the world. 
The stories that we all heard throughout the past days deeply moved me, and I guess all of you too. For me, especially regarding mental health, was, was uh, something I really felt in my body. Because, <clears throat> because personally, I've been fighting depression over the past 12 years. So this, I wanted to thank you to bring up. So while I have this, prop, this, this platform here, I want to emphasize the importance of engaging in these tough conversations to break that taboo. We need to take care of ourselves before we can take care of others so that we can create impact and hope in the world. Thank you. And before, I, I'm a Rotary Public Image Coordinator, so I've got to take a selfie, right? <laughs> Are you up for that? Yeah. Okay, I want to see your hands. I want to see your smiles. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.